Uh, this is quite a big deal. Uh, you've got the invite of, of the year. How did it feel when you knew you were going to be invited to the wedding? So, uh, I was at my dad's for the weekend and uh, I didn't see the invite uh, firsthand. But uh, my mum called me and said, Ryan, you just got invited to the royal wedding. I was like, oh, no, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> me, out of all people. And then um, I ended up getting the picture of the royal invite and I was like, my jaw just dropped. And I was like, oh, my God. So did she take a picture on her phone and text it to you? Yes. Because so you, you didn't believe it, you just thought no, it was wind up. No, I didn't believe it. I thought she was winding me up. But then I, I saw the picture and I just dropped. And my, I told my dad, his jaw dropped, and we were just all excited. And wow. I was really nervous counting the days down. Since it was Where have up. you been keeping? Because it's a very <laughs> precious thing. Where have you been keeping the invites from when it arrived till till now? So uh, I've put it. Uh, I'm gonna give it to my nan, uh, who's cool. down in Leicester, <laughs> and she ain't got no children with her that can set up all my <laughs> six other brothers and sisters. So I'm uh, I'm gonna keep that really safe. Really. Well, I can see oh. you getting sweaty palms at the thought of losing it. You're like, ooh. <laughs> what was really interesting, I did a call to Ryan's mom telling, inviting them, and it was, she had exactly the same reaction, oh. literally going, shut up, no <laughs> way. <laughs> now, you're going to get even more up close and personal because you're one of the lucky 600 to be inside the chapel, really? aren't you? Yeah, what a, what a, Honour, what an honour, incredible. I could hear you listening very hard to our guest there who's already had some chat with Meghan Markle and knows her a little bit. That's a good tip for icebreaking, isn't oh, it? Oh, totally. Bond over the dogs. Absolutely, great tip, great <laughs> I have no dogs, but I will get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> get a dog. Bye <laughs> tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> now, look, when you get the invite, what kind of information do you get about what to wear, what to do? Is there a protocol? Well, you're given a, some form of guideline. You're told it's a day dress, you're told you need a hat, um, but that's about what you're told. You're told you could wear traditional wear if you wanted to, um, but or you could also wear uniform. Um, so I, none of those two applied to me. So it was, what's a day dress? What colour? And all those, just the normal yeah. things you panic I think about. probably avoid white. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You've worn your white dress today. I have got fine. that out yeah. of the way. Uh, it's, it's, you know, clearly it's fantastic that, that you're representing uh, the mm. Diana Award charity. You're the CEO of it. And, and having the boys involved and, and that, that, that rich sort of connection between the family is really, really special, isn't it? And that she will have such an important part on the day in so many ways. Absolutely. You know, at the Diana Award, we are incredibly lucky to have both princes involved in our work. Prince Harry particularly champions our mentoring programme, which um, Ryan is part of. I think what's really beautiful about this is bringing Princess Diana very much into the centre mm. of, of everything. And that's really wonderful for us to see. Yeah. Mm. How important has that been for you, Ryan? I mean, you've received one of these awards, you've got the invite, but to be mentored by the Diana Award? Well, uh... During the Diana Award, um, at the start, I wasn't really uh, chosen to go and do the programme. So what's involved? Tell us a little bit about what's involved. So my, uh, what I did is uh, we were having discussions about knife crime. This was our topic, ah. knife crime. And uh, we had discussions about what you could, how many years you could get for holding a knife, how many years you could get for just using a knife. And um, we had loads of discussions. We had um, workshops come into our school as well. Mm. And uh, I delivered an assembly to year seven, eights and nines. That's roughly about 500 students mm. uh, about the things that you shouldn't be doing, uh, how you shouldn't be carrying a knife, even if it's for protection. All very, very valuable mm. things, Absolutely. particularly with the terrible events we've had recently. Absolutely. One of the things that we know at the Diana Award is that mm. young people are almost 67% less likely to get a job if they have no role model or positive mm. role model in their life. And so at the Diana Award, we are incredibly committed to making mm. sure that young people, particularly in inner cities, have access to a structured mentoring programme. Well, clearly it's affected you, Ryan, because you are a very eloquent young man as well. You've got five, six brothers and sisters? Uh, uh, four brothers, two sisters. Four brothers, two sisters. And I know you wanted to say hello. Which camera is he on? <laughs> camera one there, you want to say hello to your brother? Hello, Tegan. <laughs> hello, everyone else. <laughs> there you go. He's on television. That's what he's most He's on television about. and he's going to the wedding. You're going to be in a lot of stick from your brothers and sisters, aren't you? Uh, Fessy Ojo, thank you for joining us thank as well. Ryan, it's lovely us. to meet you. Have an incredible day tomorrow. We will, yeah. thank you. I'm sure you. it's going to be something you will never, ever forget. Oh, absolutely. Talking about for many years to come. It's really yeah. lovely to meet you. Mm. Great.